The cover has been attached to pin and press by Velcro underneath and it only takes about a minute to get this beautifully tight and tailored fit. This is the leg assembly and notice that these legs are not made like a regular ironing board but instead these legs are high quality and heavy duty conference table folding legs. That means no rocking and complete stability which is really important for quilters. This is how you adjust the height from 25 and a half inches to 38 inches. You squeeze these two here and then the legs just pop out and then you can feel it lock in place. And it has these indentations along here so you can tell where you're at. And then push it in and then in it goes. And these are your uneven floor adjustment feet and you just unscrew them to whatever size that you need them to be in case your floor is uneven. Or if you want to, let's say for example, you want to match the height of your pin and press to your um, sewing machine surface so that it'll hold your quilt while you're sewing a border on or something like that. But anyway, these are really nice to have. Also, underneath pin and press there is Velcro permanently attached for keeping the cover held in place. But more about that in a few minutes. The steel mesh top has been engineered just for quilters in several ways. We chose a very specific kind of steel mesh sheeting with just the right thickness and then fortified it underneath for maximum strength and durability. Also, the mesh was chosen for the actual holes so that no matter where you pin into it, the pins will go through the board. And finally, the size and shape of pin and press was chosen carefully so that quilters can press yardage easily. The top measures 24 inches wide and 60 inches long. There are two pads that are placed onto pin and press. The first pad is one half inch thick, 100% wool felt. It's the highest grade, most tightly compressed industrial pad available and it's absolutely luxurious. This pad is a real performer. It will absorb a small amount of steam and then bounce it back to your quilting fabric which reduces time spent pressing. The other bonus that this gives you is it will act as a third hand when you pin into it. Pins won't budge until you pull them out. The second pad is a starch catcher and protection for that fantastic wool pad and it's made of one quarter inch thick foam. The cover for pin and press is made of Kona premium muslin, 200 thread count, and it's double layered. We chose this fabric for the cover because it slightly grabs and holds your quilting fabric, which makes pressing easier. Also, the cover has been tailored to fit very snugly, and it attaches easily to pin and press with Velcro. The cover has been attached to pin and press by Velcro underneath and it only takes about a minute to get this beautifully tight and tailored fit. Another feature of pin and press is the fabric assist bar and its purpose is to be kind to your arms, shoulder and back when pressing large amounts of fabric by reducing drag across the table. When fully extended, the fabric assist bar adds about another three inches to the width of pin and press and it also completely retracts. Great care was taken with the design of the iron caddy by making sure that the iron rests at an angle so that steam won't escape while the iron is at rest. The same angle is also easier on your wrist. The iron caddy is available for either the left or the right side. The storage caddy attaches to either the left or the right leg of pin and press. There's enough room on the bottom shelf for three cans of starch and the upper shelf provides another area for storing other essential items. Also, on each side you'll find two little hooks to store even more great tools.